I uh, know that we're going to be going through some, uh, some changes. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, uh, we're keeping abreast of, of all of the, uh, the, uh, the issues that are, that are facing not only our economy, uh, the Canadian economy, and our best trading partners to the south. But uh, I feel uh, just the last couple of months that the economy is showing good signs of recovery. Now, whether we'll see a recovery, a spike, or where perhaps a W, you know, a little bit of a spike, maybe leveling off and then coming back. I feel good that uh, at least the economy is generally heading in the right direction. Are there still some issues to, to face um, on the world economy? Yes. Uh, if you've just seen uh, Britain's uh, GDP, it actually dropped instead of uh, increasing. Uh, significant write-downs by Wells Fargo Bank in the United States. So things have not yet completely settled down. But at least here in the province, we have a good direction that we're taking. And uh, all I ask is let's work together uh, because as partners, we can do so, so much. And that's why I, I, I want to just spend a little bit of time uh, briefly and uh, ask for your support and also keep you abreast of uh, some of the key health issues that are uh, facing our system and also the plan to dis dis distribute the H1N1 vaccine. And here too, uh, I know we had some conference calls last week keeping many of the municipal leaders uh, um, uh, informed. And I just want to thank all those municipalities that have helped uh, the Alberta Health Services with uh, locations and, and the planning process. Uh, because with your help uh, and our cooperation working together, we're better able to plan and also to respond to the interests of those that uh, we serve. I uh, know that uh, over the next uh, few months, um, we're going to be bringing about some changes in a very critical area, and that is centered around a, co a competitiveness review that we are undertaking in government. We want and we have to attract international investment. Because if we, if we don't, we won't be able to continue to offer a high quality of life in our communities. And I know that there's three levels of government, obviously, that are involved in uh, permitting and deciding on applications. And, and what I hear from industry is that sometimes, you know, there's money ready to go, be invested, but it doesn't take six months or a year. Sometimes it takes two to three years to make a decision on any particular project. I offer to work with municipalities and the federal government, so we try and narrow down that time frame. Because I met with uh, about 17 fund managers yesterday morning. They're in control of trillions of dollars. And they came to Alberta. They came to the capital city to talk to the Premier, uh, talk to the Finance Minister, and also to uh, our Minister of Energy. They know full well now what we've achieved on the environmental file. They've got the correct information. But we've got just improved the, the decision-making process on the regulatory side, and we're certainly going to look at the investment side. How quickly can someone recover their investment uh, compared to other jurisdictions, so we keep attracting it to Alberta. This will definitely uh, uh, help us uh, attract that uh, investment, and I uh, just want to leave this with you, that we will work with you over the next number of months as we build uh, the competitiveness uh, report, uh, because I, I think it's one of those other areas that we have to work together. And, uh, you know, in the application process, work uh, you, you, people that are making decisions, helping you give you advice in your municipality and in the province. Let's do it in tandem so that uh, whoever wants to invest in this uh, province doesn't have to go through three different doors to get uh, answers. 
I also want to congratulate the municipalities who have worked so hard to develop long-term direction for development. Uh, long-term, of course, for development, but also for infrastructure and, cons and conservation, especially in the two large metropolitan areas. Each and every municipality involved has uh, shown true leadership to get these plans where they are today. Uh, your communication, cooperation, collaboration, of course, are outstanding. They're, they're essential for this to work, but uh, it, it, it's just, it makes me really feel uh, proud of the leadership. Uh, Ray will be bringing forward uh, legislation this uh, fall that will enshrine our commitment to regional and sub-regional planning. And uh, I understand from Ray that many other ministers uh, will be working uh, with you together as municipalities. And uh, we also have to work together as government departments. And I know uh, Ray told me, he said there's some like 77 municipal grants spread over 13 departments. Man, oh man, you got to have a wizard of Oz in every municipality to figure this thing out and apply for the right program at the right time with the right department. That's not fair to you. It's inefficient. It's inefficient. I know that uh, we can reduce many of our costs. We'll be able to reduce many of your costs by redesigning the program. And we will meet uh, uh, you know, all of the requirements, but uh, I know it'll be uh, much easier for both of us. And, and you know, really, I, I sat on your side of the table before, um, and I understand many of the challenges and the difficulties that uh, uh, there are municipal officials have in, in accessing all of the government programs. So we will simplify the process, and uh, we will, uh, uh, I believe, streamline the number of grants um, whatever that will be, Ray, with the discussion, could be half that amount, whatever, 16, 17, okay, we're, we're moving in the right direction. I uh, just want to thank everyone for your support, your cooperation. Um, we've certainly uh, maybe had some issues to work through. But what I found uh, with municipally elected officials, and this is true, you're much closer to your voter. You see them every day when you go get your mail or at the coffee shop. And uh, that is why, as provincially elected uh, people, we have to listen to you, because many times you get that information well before we do. And the other is that you know which infrastructure uh, you need, how to build it. You know more about your community organizations, those that are delivering services in your municipality. Uh, they can certainly do it uh, much more effective and efficient than we can from a central government. And that's why uh, I just want to ask you, let's keep our eyes on our destination uh, together. We all know the Alberta that we want to build. And uh, like all Albertans, uh, our governments, municipal and provincial, we remain confident in the future and with good reason. When I look forward, we have the energy. We have the food. The, we have the forest resources the world needs and wants. Yes, we're going to have to live within our means over the next uh, year or two, but let's keep focusing on growing Alberta's economy, growing jobs. You are our valued, valued partners in this endeavor. Again, thank you uh, for uh, working with us, and I look forward uh, to working together, stronger, with you on the way forward. Thank you so very, very much. <laughs>